Like it says, self calibration. How does what? What's that mean? I mean, like, so there's a sensor. So that instead kind of, of stuff. using an external a, a device yeah. to calibrate your monitors, yep. it's it's a built-in feature. So it's yeah. I'll so where is it? <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So um, let's go oh, on this Okay, one. sure. So this is our CG 319. It's an SDR monitor. Yep. with um, HDR playback capabilities and you just go through the menu and you go to self-calibration so, yep. and you, you can see the sensor pop out and I'll stop it so it doesn't go through the whole thing mm -hmm. oh. so, so you see the sensor come out Yep. and it's about a five minute process we already <laughs> calibrated them okay but so it's it's a built-in feature. Wow. So and mm -hmm. then you have all these different color spaces. So if I go to color, you know it's on PQ yep. 2100 right now. But you have all these different uh, settings okay. right here. Yep. And then these two are actually customized. Well, everything's customizable, so you can always change it. But these are your custom fully settings. customized. So you have yeah, so you have ten options all together. Yep. We like um there's some consumer product. It's over Twenty-seven inches. So yep. this is our four uh, K version. This is our two K version, and the CS series on mm -hmm. the end here. Our CS series does not have built-in calibration. Oh, mm -hmm. However, all of our monitors include Color Navigator. Yep. At least on the Color Edge line, mm -hmm. include uh, Color Navigator, so mm -hmm. you can always calibrate through the software. Oh, okay. Can break software. So that's it. But I would say these two right now are our most popular. We came out with this one like last June, July timeframe, and then Two, the seven. 4K version came out in November. Oh. So these are our most popular, and um, all of our Color Edge and Flex Scan line all come with a five year warranty. Oh, great. Yeah. All, all our products are made in Japan. Yeah. Um, so we're TAA compliant. Mm -hmm. Because I never see it in person because in my country you, 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 you just you, never where, showed up. Where are you from? Canada? I'm from Taiwan. Oh, Taiwan. Yeah. Okay, nice. So <laughs> I just, I know this brand. I know it's a good company, but I never saw it in, see it in person. In, in yeah. Person. Very nice. And what do you do? Uh, I'm filmmaker. Okay. So I also do some post production. So maybe I got it. I choose one of your product Got it. in the future yeah okay <laughs> well the the cs series is more it's more economical because it doesn't uh, have all that, all that built, built in features i mean like the panel is pretty much the same yeah 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 mm -hmm. just try just to keep the you know the cost down so this one has a list of 30 it's about 3500 uh msrp whereas the 2k version is 2597, 20, yeah, around 2600. There. And I don't know, the 2740. I don't sell as much as those, but I think it's like 1895, somewhere around there. And uh, for me, because I focus on media and entertainment, it's, it's going to be either the 2K or the 4K with the built in calibration. Or we also have. Uh, the prominence on the other side, mm -hmm. which is a um, true reference HDR monitor. I mean, the really expensive it's, one. Yeah, it's 35. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we also have the 319, which is what I showed you the uh, calibration yep. on. And that one is just over 6,000 MSRP. Mm -hmm. So if you're not going to use HDR, if I bought an HDR monitor, it's just useless. 
You like I mean, that's why people are going with the HDR monitor. But keep in mind that these two monitors, as well as our 319, all have HDR playback capability. Mm -hmm. So even if you're not producing HDR content, you can you can view it on an SDR monitor. Okay. Yeah, thanks for helping. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and uh, I wonder if we have a scanner. Oops. Um, scanner. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Precision. 